Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to share with you guys my October favorites. Basically what I've been loving in the month of October. I thought I'd share it with you guys because I really, I'm the type of person who just loves sharing things that I, I love. So here it is, my October favorites. Let's get into it. So first things first, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite beverages in the month of October. Besides water, I love to drink kombucha and this is not only a favorite in the month of October but I'd have to say literally it's been my favorite all year round it's basically a live probiotic and it's naturally energizing it has some caffeine in it so I think it has like it says it has organic caffeine about 40 milligrams and I love it because it has um, B vitamins and it's it aids my digestive system. It really helps um, because I have like, <laughs> gonna get personal with you here, but I've never had a good digestive system. So I've been trying to take care of my digestive system and this has been helping me. Kombucha um, balances the good and the bad bacteria in your body, so in your gut. So that's what it does. And it's really been helping me to um, promote better stool and a healthier digestive system because you know if you have a healthy digestive system then you have a strong immunity because your digestive system is linked to your immune system which I know getting nerd here but uh, that's the truth and if you take care of your gut then you will have a strong immune system and you'll be able to fight viruses when flu season or cold season comes around bomb oh my gosh so bomb another one of my favorite drinks in the month of october was spiced chai i literally bought a new box at trader joe's it hasn't been opened yet because i just finished my last tea bag but if you like chai tea lattes at starbucks or just like anywhere at any cafe i definitely recommend trying to make your own at home i actually started making my own chai tea lattes at home and I find it saves you money and it also it's better I guess you you know like how much sugar you're putting in your chai tea latte because usually um, chai tea lattes at you know cafes are already pre-sweetened so you can have control over your sugar intake and that's always good because you don't want to spike your blood sugar. <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing how I make my chai tea lattes, it's in my what I eat in a day video. So I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check it out if you haven't watched that video yet. So yeah, chai tea latte with spiced chai tea bags at Trader Joe's. I'm sure you can find it anywhere else, but I've been really loving this one. And it's pretty affordable, only $3 with like 20 bags. Come on. Come on, that's like 20 chai tea lattes. For my beauty favorites, I've been obsessed with this lip balm from Sprouts and it's green tea mandarin, green tea mandarin flavor. And it's awesome. It's like super, super thick chapstick. And honestly, my lips were so chapped before I found this chapstick, before this came into my life. I couldn't find a chapstick that did its justice and you know, smoothed out my lips. So before I go to bed, I always apply this to my lips and even on a daily, like after I brush my teeth and I wake up in the morning and it's seriously has been a lifesaver to my lips because if your lips are dry and like a desert, <laughs> desert dry and all crusty, I definitely recommend that you invest in some good chapstick. I bought this one at Sprouts and um, if you don't have a Sprouts around you, um, check out your local um, check out your local Whole Foods store. I'm sure they have organic lip balms because this one's organic, yo. You know I support organic. I support organic and non-GMO if you don't know that. I vote with my dollar, so something new you learned about me. But yeah, love this. Gotta try it out. And it will save your lips if you have crusty lips. <laughs> So another beauty favorite of mine has been this Dr. Bronner's bar soap and I love it so much. It smells like mint and I also use this soap not only to just shower with but I use it I, like a specific bar soap. I have one for 
you know, to do my eyebrows. So what I'll do is I'll grab a spoolie and I'll wet the spoolie underwater. I'll run it for a little bit. And once the spoolie's wet, I will just graze it through the bar soap, a dry, this, a dry, clean bar soap. And I will just run it through my eyebrows and my eyebrows stay the way I want them. Sometimes I want my eyebrows like super fluffy. So I'll make them super fluffy with a spoolie or other times I just want it to just stay in place. So honestly, bar soap and spoolie, this has been my favorite. And also Dr. Bronner's is um, made with organic ingredients and it's just the bomb. So that's my last beauty favorite. I'll definitely leave the links down in the description box. No worries, I got you. For my fashion favorites in the month of October, I was super inspired by neutral colors. And I'm just gonna share with you guys three neutral color pieces. So this first one right here is really pretty. It's just a blouse. Um, I thrifted it from the gray dot us and I love this blouse. It's actually a size larger than my typical size, but I love it cause I could just tuck it in some mom jeans or some denim and it was a good price, like 16 bucks on the gray.us guys. The only thing I would say is if you order from the gray.us, be aware that they do ship your clothing a week after you purchase your clothing. My other neutral colored top that I've been loving is this really pretty cashmere top. It's a petite size. I typically don't wear petite sizes, but this one was actually super cute and um, I guess, you know, I thought maybe I could pull it off. So I went for it. And I actually got this top at a consignment store called Deluxe in Santa Ana, um, California. So if you're from California, hit up Deluxe. My last fashion favorite is this sweater right here. It's a turtleneck sweater and it's a beige turtleneck sweater. I got it from Forever 21. Again, I think it was only like $15, so all the tops that I bought were pretty reasonable prices. And if you want to see more details on how this fit on me, I think I have a picture of myself wearing this um, sweater turtleneck on Instagram, on my Instagram, so I'll definitely leave my Instagram link down below in the description box. So yeah, that's it. Neutrals were my favorite in October and I think they're, they're timeless. Timeless colors, timeless pieces, so I think that's what draws me toward neutral colors because I'm still vibing with the neutral colors for the month of November and maybe December. Who knows? We'll see. I guess we'll just have to see what I'm inspired by. So I'm moving on. I'm going to share with you guys an app that I've really been loving and the app is the pee tracker. So if you're a woman, a young lady, um, just basically a female, it's always good to track your period. So um, what I love about this app is it features, you know, thoughts for the day, location, if you're spotting, if you're intimate, flow symptoms. Basically shows you symptoms and it's you rate them, your symptoms. You've got your moods, if you know, tracking your moods, it's clicking any medication. And honestly, it's good to track your period and your symptoms because it's good to stay in tuned with your own body. I mean, who knows yourself better than yourself, right? I hate to break it to you, but PMS is not normal. It's actually a sign of hormone imbalance, but that's just the nerd in me. I'm really passionate about learning about this only because I have hormone imbalances that I need to you know, balance out myself. And I've found that the period tracker is super helpful. And I wish, I'd have, I, wish I would have known about this when I was a little girl, because honestly, I had no idea you know, that I could track my period and my symptoms and get in tune with, you know, myself. So if you need help and you don't know, like, you know, what these signs of your period are, it's good to track them. And also I'll give you a link down below to this website that I love. It's called flowliving.com. And on the website, like when you first enter, you can take a little quiz on your period flow. And at the end of the quiz, it'll show you, you know, where your imbalanced hormones are and how you can get your period to um, being normal and get your hormone imbalances balanced. My music favorites for the month of October have to be 
No Doubt. I was listening to No Doubt a lot in the month of October. I really love it. It's like, it brings back nostalgic vibes of when I was a 90s kid. I think what I love about her so much is the fact that she's so, like, she doesn't care. She is just herself and she is so bold and she expresses herself through her music and you can just feel that passion when she sings. <laughs> But I guess I love Gwen because like I could literally rock out to her and like I love the sound of No Doubt's music. It's almost like punk rock with reggae so like that's what it sounds like to me and I I have so much fun just listening to her music. I'm done with my October favorites. I thought I had more favorites but yeah that was practically it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching my October favorites and you guys learned something or took something with you from this video and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know if I should make more videos like this. If you want to see more videos, just, you know, give it a big thumbs up. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.